Greetings. Here at Maranatha, we have been on a long, long journey through the year of 2020, on a vision quest, if you will, seeking questions of who God is and who we are to God. And we looked at the gospel stories to engage various questions that disciples and other followers of Jesus had of him, and through the season of Lent, we asked ourselves, do we really truly belong to God and how? And then on Easter Sunday, we discovered that we did belong to God through the life and the death and resurrection of of Jesus Christ, his death on the cross and resurrection from the grave, the stone, reminded us of life with him eternal. And also the power to live fully and abundantly here now, a gift that Jesus said he was going to give through a promise, a present, if you will, from the Holy Spirit. And we discovered that that present was in essence a, an IOU, a promise from a good God to give a good gift to his people, to his children, not because we owed it to him but because he all wanted to give it to us. The disciples then spent time in Jerusalem waiting and wondering and preparing for this promise to come. They didn't know when it was going to come or how it was going to come, but they could only imagine the good gifts that God was going to give to them through this blessing. We can read in Psalm 65 from the New International Reader's Version, those who live far away are amazed at the miracles you have done. What you do makes people from one end of the earth to the other sing for joy. You take care of the land and water it. You make it very rich. You fill your streams with water. You provide people with grain. And that's how you prepare the land. You water its rows and you smooth out its bumps and you soften it with showers and you bless it with crops. There's an image there of God's blessings showering down on us. Now, often when it showers, especially here in Calgary, it comes quickly, and so you have to be prepared. And so many of us, we carry around an umbrella lest we get wet when the showers come upon us. And you take your umbrella out and you put it up and you keep the rain from falling on your head. But what if the showers from God are not meant to be diverted away by an umbrella? What if the showers are meant to be collected by the umbrella? The blessings of God not diverted away from us, but captured by us so that he can work in us and through us more fully and more faithfully. I wonder what blessings in your life God wants to give to you that you struggle with receiving or being grateful for or using as God's gift to the world around you. I invite you to join with us on this Pentecost Sunday of May 31st, 2020, as we investigate the power and the baptism of the Holy Spirit upon the early church and the blessings and the results that come from that. Until then, peace and blessings, my friends. Amen.